Okay, so thank you all for joining. Um, today we're going to be talking about scheduling social media posts. Um, I have bought and tutorial, used free tutorials of all sorts of pre-scheduling social media post programs. I've gone to later.com, I've used Hootsuite, um, and to be completely honest, uh, the easiest one is just through Facebook. I don't know um, how much you guys use Facebook for posting, um, but there is a free one in business suite that you can use that actually connects to your Instagram um, since Facebook owns Instagram and you can just do it on one platform. And I absolutely love it. Um, and that is what I'm gonna be showing you how to use today. Um, so friendly reminders, please don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, I tend to talk very fast. Um, so if I need to slow down, please let me know. Um, just interrupt and let's get started. So what I have here on my home screen is, I need to move this bar, is uh, my Facebook page. Um, so this only works if you have a Facebook business page. If you are posting your real estate uh, social media content on your um, personal page, this will not work. You need to create a business page. Um, so I'm going to go to our rent an account here. And this is the John Scott Renton account. Um, so right here, front and center is your business suite. If you don't have this yet, it's going to be right here where it says manage your page and Instagram account together. And you're going to click on go to business suite and you're going to set up your account. Um, it's very easy. It just, um, I think you just click it and it just starts. Um, it's been a couple months since I started using it. Um, but when you click into business suite, it's going to pop up a whole other separate tab that is not associated to Facebook. This is my John L. Scott Renton Facebook business account. Um, so really quick, I'm gonna go over the homepage. So this shows up, um, I've linked my Facebook and Instagram account for John L. Scott Renton. If you had, I believe it does Linktree, Linktree, the circle would pop up. If you wanna do Twitter, that would pop up. I don't know if they've gotten there quite yet, um, but I do know that is coming down the line um, since Facebook's <laughs> monopolizing all of social media. Um, so this is my front page. Um, if I wanted to create account, uh, excuse me, if I wanted to create a post, I would click right here. Uh, if I wanted to create a story, I would click here. Um, they have goals that you want to reach. Um, and you can schedule your goals um, so that to make sure that you are posting enough activity on your social media pages. Um, so my goal is 16 posts on Facebook a week. Um, and my Instagram is six posts on um my goal, excuse me, on Instagram is six posts a week, and I've already completed that, which shows it right here. Um, I actually went above my goals this week. Um, excuse me. Uh, yeah, this week. So that's from the 13th through the 20th. Um, when you scroll down, um, you can see your messages. So it's your little to-do list to respond to some messages, which I think is very helpful so that you can stay interactive with your um, your followers. Um, insights, it talks about your trends of how many people are actively looking at your accounts. Um, so we have a little bit um, over 4,000 people on our Instagram, excuse me, on our Facebook page. We have a little bit under 1,000 people um, interacting on our Instagram page. And then my audience, it shows all my followers there. Um, and then when you scroll down more, it talks about recent posts. So this morning I just did everyone's open house time, uh, open house posts for the weekend. Um, we had a little fun, uh, blue Friday post with all of staff and management. Um, so that shows it there. And then what's really cool is it shows, it's going to show all the data on every post. So it's going to show how many people have liked it, how many people have commented, it, how many people it's reached. Um, so you can kind of start evaluating, um, how much influence you're giving out on social media. And then when you keep going, um, it's going to show uh, stuff that you've looked at. It's going to suggest, uh, it's going to give you ideas of what's new to the account. Um, and then it's going to keep going down 
um, and suggesting other stuff to help you with your branding on Facebook and Instagram. Um, here's the content calendar. So it shows uh, stuff that's coming uh, up the pike for the week. Um, here on the left side, it kind of goes into detail of what you want to do. So right here, um, I'm the only owner of our John L. Scott Renton and Facebook pages. So it just shows it's me. Um, here's the home page if you want to go back to it. Notifications. Um, anytime someone comments on our Facebook and Instagram page, you can go to the notification button here and see those inbox. Um, you can see, again, all of the interactions of everyone uh, on Facebook and Instagram. It shows all the messages. It shows um, on Facebook and Instagram. So right now, Michael's like the post that I post for him. I really, really, really like this because it takes a lot of work, especially running two um, accounts, Facebook and Instagram. You can interact and comment in one spot. So I'm not, you know, on my Instagram on my phone and my Facebook on the computer and I have to go back and forth between each application, I can just comment and um, message people from one place. So all messages show up here. If I wanted to just go to Instagram, I'd click here. If I just wanted to go to Facebook, I'd click there. Um, and then when I come back to the menu bar here, um, insights, again, you can go into in-depth um, view of how much you are reaching your um, followers on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so it looks like, you know, I'm down a little bit on Facebook, but I'm up 12% on Instagram. Um, and then it shows the most uh, contact that has been reached of posts when you keep scrolling. So it looks like my Thursday post of Just Sold uh, reached 580 people. 589 people this week. And then when you keep going down, it's going to show more um, insights based on age and gender people uh, groups. Um, and then you keep going down and there's much more information here and then results and contact and audience. I'm not going to go too much about that because you are here to talk about scheduling and posting. So there are two spots here on the main menu bar that you can look at. There's calendar and then there's post and stories. Calendar is an overview of everything that you are posting in advance and are currently posting. So you can uh, look at it by week or you can look at it by month. I like this feature because my main concern doing social media is I don't want to overwhelm my audience. I don't want to, you know, post five times a day going, oh, look at this and look at that and look at this. You know, it's kind of, it's a little bit much. And that's just my personal opinion running a, um, a Facebook and Instagram account is I don't want to overwhelm my audience. I want to do at least one or two posts a day, keep it simple. So this is a breakout of everything that I have. Um, so I have one tomorrow um, and it shows what it is when you highlight over it. So I have a happy birthday announcement on their Facebook page. And then I have one next week. So uh, the 22nd is the first day of fall. So I have a pre-scheduled happy first day of fall on um, our Facebook and Instagram account. Um, so it, it's a really nice overview of how much I'm posting each week so I'm not overwhelming my audience. So this is just the calendar part. Um, over here, posts and stories. So this is a breakout of everything that you have scheduled and what you have published. Um, so you've got your posts here and your stories here. Um, and then you can see your viewers as well. Posts, so published is everything that you've done yourself. So I have my two um, posts, one from Facebook open house times, and then one from Instagram open house times. And then you can scroll down and see everything else that you've published. Scheduled is everything that you have ready to go in advance that's gonna automatically be posted to your accounts. So again, like you saw on the calendar, I have my happy birthday wish for Amelia scheduled tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then next week on the 22nd, I have my happy first day of fall uh, videos for uh, Wednesday at 9 a.m. and so on and so forth. Um, what I am gonna tell you in advance, and I've learned this the hard way, you only can schedule out posts two months in advance. If you start going three, four, five months in advance, it's going to show it's in there, but it will not post. I had some happy birthday and Facebook posts scheduled 
last year and a broker came up to me and she's like, oh, you forgot my anniversary. And I was like, what do you mean you forgot your anniversary? It's scheduled. It's super easy. I booked it out three months in advance and it did not post. So make sure you're only doing two months in advance. I do a month in advance. Um, Cause again, I want to keep my content fresh. Um, so at the end of every month, I always get ready for the next month. So I actually posted all of this in August um, to get ready for September. Okay, so creating a post. Um, you can either start from the homepage or you can click here on the blue button, create a post. And this is going to pull up all of the features to write and schedule a post. So the first thing it wants to know is when do you want to uh, schedule a post in the future? Um, so I have a post already made and ready to go. So we're going to actually do this live together. So I, um, when you click on here, you can choose again, a calendar spot, um, as far in the future. Again, I don't go past two months. Um, so I'm going to post this today and I'm going to post this at noon. Whoa, don't freak out on me. And then when you click save, now that's scheduled um, and now I can get ready to post. Okay, a couple sections to pay attention to. Um, if you want to post to both accounts, please make sure these checks are boxed. If I just want to do Facebook, I'm going to unclick Instagram. If I want to do just Instagram, I'm going to unclick Facebook. See how that changed? So when I unclick Instagram, now it, my uh, editing box switched to Facebook. When I do both, it's ready to go and it highlighted Instagram reminding me that I'm going to do both. Here's the text box where you can write your comments, uh, upload your photos, upload your videos. You can actually create a video through Facebook here. Um, so anytime I text, write a text here, it is going to auto populate on the right hand side of what that post will look like, which I absolutely love because I want to see what the final product product is going to be like before I schedule it out. So um, I am going to copy and paste my verbiage that I already pre-made. And Mariana, we are going to welcome you to the office. And then we're going to go back to Facebook. Okay. So there is my content, which shows up. So my Facebook button is highlighted here. So this is what it's going to look like on Facebook. When I click on Instagram, this is what it's going to show up, uh, what it's going to show up like on Instagram. I don't have a photo uploaded, so it's not going to show me exactly what it looks like quite yet because you can't post just text on face, uh, Instagram like you can with Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to go scroll down to my, why can't I see it? I guess I need to add the photo first. That's something new. So I'm going to upload my photo and it's gonna show a preview of it. So now when I go to Instagram, it's gonna show me a pre-made Instagram post. And then now I am going to copy and paste my text. Okay, so as you can tell, the Facebook text and the Instagram text right here already automatically copy and paste from my text here where I written. Facebook and Instagram are completely different platforms. So when I go on Instagram, I am going to hashtag people. Facebook, you can't hashtag. I don't know if you know that Facebook does not populate hashtags. It has no correlation to Instagram. So I don't recommend doing it. Um, so when I scroll down here, if I start typing in here, it is going to be completely different from my Instagram page. See how my test here on my welcome did not show up, but it is on my Facebook. This is, uh, if you want to add different text to each account. Um, 
And then obviously my text box on the left shows your text is customized for each platform. Um, now I have, now I can edit, uh, each social media post, um, differently. Okay. So now I have my texts, um, on both platforms. I have my preview. Um, now I want to tag her. Um, and again, this is what's cool about these, uh, Facebook text and Instagram text platforms where you can edit each individual one. Your Instagram tag is different than your uh, Facebook tag. So when you highlight and add the at symbol, the pre, it's going to start auto populating people that have uh, that have the same tagline that you're typing in. So see how there's a Facebook one here. And then now when I go into Instagram, it's going to show up Instagrams. So make sure that when you are in each one, that you're doing it for each one. So I wanted her Instagram tag so that I can tag her here. And then now Facebook, I actually have to look you up. Keep track of all of you. Oops. Ariana Alba Real Estate. And there she is. And then now that will tag when I post it. Any questions so far? Okie dokie. Um, more little things down below. Um, if you wanna add a location, you can add a location here. If you want to do a call to action button, um, you can do the, that there. Um, if you want to add a link, so maybe you're posting um, an event that's coming up in the future and you need people to RSVP or get a Zoom link, you can copy and paste the link there. Um, Instagram, don't copy and paste a link. There is no link. You can't, you can't click on a link like you can on Facebook. So I recommend, um, I teach a class on, I teach, I taught a class, excuse me, that's on YouTube about how to set up a link tree so that all you can say that is to click into your bio, which then will be that link. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, but great. So I have my text, I have my photo, it looks fabulous. And then I just click schedule here. And now that is going to populate into my scheduled posts here. Um, there that is, and that is scheduled for noon. If I want to make any changes, you click on the little box here and the post over you is going to pop up. So it shows what I can do. You click on these three dots and I can either edit, reschedule, move to drafts, and I can keep edit editing it or I can delete it. They even have a publish now. Same thing with Facebook. I can edit it. I can reschedule it, I can move it to drafts, I can delete it, or I can click publish now. Um, and I will do that at the end of the class. I don't wanna wait till noon to welcome Mariana to the office. Any questions? Hey, Sadie, this is Patia. Hi, Patia. Um, when are the best times to uh, post? Because I know there's like ideal times um, to post. There are ideal times. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> being a millennial, I think everyone's opinion on this is different. Um, I find that first thing in the morning, because that is what everyone does when they wake up is they grab their phone and they look at social media before they get ready for the day. So I um, always schedule posts around 9 a.m. to 10. Um, another great time is noon because everyone that's at work takes their lunch break around noon and they're going to pull up their phone and check social media. The other time is around five and four o'clock when they're about to leave for the day or they're sitting in traffic, texting and driving. <laughs> um, there is something on, I 
think here that shows what time people look at your account the most. Can't remember where it is. Or maybe I Googled it once. But in the morning and at, around in the afternoon, I think are the best times. That's my opinion. Everyone has different times. Um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> No, that's good. Thank you. So I my screen looks a little different than you. I don't have that left navigator tab. I can bring up insights and see it, but it's not like I have calendar over on the left and all that. Do you are you comfortable sharing your screen? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to put you on the spot if you um if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one with me later, I'm totally down. Um, How do I flip my screen around? There we go. Do you want to share your screen on the Zoom meeting? Oh, you're on your phone. I'm on my phone. You're on your phone. Um, Ooh. What happens when you click on, see where it says insights and those the little drop down, with like the three dots, three lines, what, what's that? It brings up this all tools. Ah, okay. Interesting. Um, next time we're in the office, stop on my desk. Or um, if you want to do a quick one-on-one -on -one Zoom call when I'm done with this, um, I can see your screen a little bit better. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. There might be like a button somewhere that we need to click to set it up. Oh, wait, is this it? No. <laughs> okay. That's a later problem. Okie dokie. <laughs> Well, if no one has any other questions, I hope this was helpful. Please, again, let me know if there's anything else on Instagram, Facebook, any other platform of technology. Um, I think next, not this Friday, but next Friday, every other, every other Friday, um, we're going to do mail merging or um, someone wanted to do basic outlook steps, whatever, whatever you guys need. I'm, it doesn't have to be social media related. Um, I'm here to help. Okay, so uh, my one ask, I heard that in Creator Studio, you can schedule stories now. So I'm curious about that. I haven't done it myself, to be completely honest, but there is a create a story thing here, but I think you have to upload it yourself. Share it right away. Uh, yeah. I feel like stories are kind of like in the now moment. Um, but I like for like a listing, I would want to like pre make my, hey, I'm doing an open house this weekend, come by, and then like do that on a Monday and then post it on Friday. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, you said it was create creator or something sorry creator studio in facebook okay i think i'll try and find the article and forward it to you okay great i will look in the back awesome well that's it have a wonderful friday everybody and a good weekend and uh you know where to find me <laughs> thank you sadie you're welcome bye everybody